According to recent data, childless couples are set to become the most common family type in Australia by 2023. In the past, traditional families consisted of a mother, a father, and some kids. Mum would stay at home and look after the domestic affairs, and Dad would be the sole breadwinner. Nowadays, this type of family is becoming increasingly rare. Although it is starting to happen in Australia, countries such as Singapore, South Korea, and Japan have such low birth rates that they are ultimately going to lose population. Japan has already started to do so. In order for a developed country to maintain a stable population, each mother has to have on average 2.1 children. That means that there needs to be two children born to replace the parents, plus a little bit extra to account for child mortality. Australia currently has a fertility rate of 1.83, which is below replacement levels. The United States has a similar rate of around 1.84 births per woman. The main reasons why Australia's population doesn't decrease are 1. Immigration and 2. Increased longevity. If immigration was to stop tomorrow, Australia's population would still increase due to the pre-childbearing population entering childbearing years. This phenomenon is referred to as population momentum. However, eventually the elderly will start dying off, and there simply won't be enough children being born to replace the dying population. This usually starts to happen after two or three generations. At that point, without immigration, Australia would go into a population decline. Actually, the following list of countries also have sub-replacement fertility levels. China, Canada, Brazil, Russia, and most countries in the European Union. So why are people having less babies? The reason I ask is that recently one of my friends asked me why I had children. He's currently engaged and getting married next year, but obviously they are not planning to have any kids. He basically asked me why I would bring kids into this godforsaken world. At the time, I didn't really have an answer for him, so that's why I decided to make this video. Actually, some other people I've met have proudly stated they will never have children, and that the world needs more people like them. They claim that humans are a scourge to the planet, and that childlessness is the new norm. They're pretty much right according to the statistics that I mentioned earlier. So back to the original question, why are people having less babies? If you look at the data, wealthier countries typically have lower birth rates. Individuals in developed countries tend to spend more money on higher education, property, saving up for a car, etc. This leads to people delaying childbearing to later in life, which in turn results in smaller families. I didn't have my first child until I was 32, which historically is quite old. But recently, this has become the new norm. I believe the average Australian man isn't having their first child until they are 33. Many parents at my son's school are either as old or older than I am. I've met a few ladies who are in their 30s who state that they are currently focusing on their career. I find that quite sad. They're basically saying that their career is more important than having a child. Or another way of putting it, money is more important than children. The thing about careers is that it's just a fancy word for job. You have plenty of time to get a job, but you have very little time to have children, especially if you're a lady. In my opinion, the modern attitude of putting careers ahead of children is a catastrophic failure of society. Biologically speaking, there really is only one main goal, maybe two, but they're both related. The first one is survival, and the second one is reproduction. If we start putting careers ahead of childbearing, or we allow childlessness to become the new norm, then we are going directly against our natural instincts and purpose. The human race needs children. If everyone decided to not have children, the human species would simply die out. People like my friend who ask, why would you bring a child into this miserable world, have forgotten about history. At any point throughout human history, the world has been a fairly wretched place, far worse than it currently is now. What if our ancestors decided not to have children for the same reasons? Well, none of us would exist right now, would we? We need children, and society should be encouraging us to have them. We shouldn't have to rely on immigration to keep our populations intact. I'm not advocating having too many children, but society should definitely stop focusing on money all the time, and focus more on making the traditional family normal again. That doesn't mean I'm against non-traditional families, not at all. But certainly the traditional family should be the norm. Childlessness is a frivolous goal. Children are great. You can teach them about all the wonders of the world. You can teach them to be good people who will grow up to do wonderful things. We need the next generation to help solve all the problems of the world. Choosing not to have children is giving up in my opinion. After having spoken with a lot of my female friends and acquaintances, the maternal instinct is strong. If you're a lady and you're listening to this, I know, it's rare, most of my listeners are male, don't delay. Don't focus on career. When you're older, it will be one of your biggest regrets that you didn't have children. Men, you're in the same boat. Although you have less biological pressure, you still don't want to be 50 when you have your first child. 
You want to be able to run around with your young ones and enjoy their youth. You want to be able to kick a football or go hiking or kayaking or whatever other physically demanding thing that kids like to do. I've got two kids, one boy and one girl. It's not quite 2.1, but I'm glad I've had them. I can see them maturing every day. I can see the gleam of hope and ambition in their eyes. If I didn't have children, what would I be doing right now? Probably working more hours at a crappy job I don't like. Maybe playing more computer games or whiling my life away participating in some other hedonistic pleasure. If you like the human race and you'd like to contribute to its continuation, have a child. You won't regret it. Money, cars, houses, they're all just materialistic pleasures. Children are your lifeblood. Children are the future.